Hello? What a dream. We're gonna start off by doing my makeup kind of normally. Okay, so I mix sunscreen and BB cream. And then I just spray this. I just sprayed my mirror. Oh well. And I mix it and I just put it everywhere. Growing up in my childhood bedroom, my mom painted green hills on our wall and she put stickers of fairies and she would tell us stories like with those fairies and it was so magical. Okay, I used two concealers. This one's a little lighter, but yes, I've always wanted to be a fairy. Honestly, using my phone as a guide is probably a bad idea, but you know what? YOLO. Looks crazy, I know. Trust the process. I feel like fairies have such structured features. Okay, I have this thing from NYX. And we're just going to... Yeah. <laughs> I never use this much, okay? But let's just see how it turns out, yeah? Mm, let's just really structure my face. I've also seen people do this. So I'm gonna do it too. Oh, <laughs> Oh, look at that cheekbone. Oh, oh, oh. I need to do my nose. <laughs> I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Maybe it just looks good because I can't really see. And because I love contouring my nose, just making it smaller, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't have many brushes, I only have like two. And so I just use this bronzer thing from e.l.f. and then I just go over it. Okay, and then I kind of want to highlight just a little bit. Oh yes. Blush. I like to use the shade Toasted Almond. We're just going to contour with blush. And also because we are a fairy, we're just gonna do a little sunburn look, you know what I mean? I want to do it here. A little bit on my forehead and my chin. I don't know what this is, but I know that it kind of blurs my skin and I'm just gonna put this all over Except for this because I wanted to shine. She deserves to shine Let's do my eyebrows because why not? I like to take this elf pencil and I bent this um, spoolie part. I use this brow soap thing. I got it from Amazon and I want it to have like a feather look. You know, fairies be looking majestical like that. You're going to want to brush your hairs up. So you're going to let it dry a little like this. Brush up, brush up. Oh my God, it looks crazy. Okay, after you let it dry a little, then you're going to take the top and you're just going to bend it and there you go it looks oh my god it looks so good i'm about to be the prettiest fairy in town then i'm going to let it like dry a little because i do fill it in but i will worry about that later just use like a brown just to base then i bought this thing from elf it was literally like a dollar going to add pink on like the outer corners okay then i'm adding some pink underneath and the crease because i want my eyes to be bigger it looks gosh jammed my nail in there oh no well good thing i didn't want to use that color anyway or did i let's try it <laughs> okay sure i just used that lighter color on like the inside part i like it it gives it like a cleaner look Oh my god, I'm like slouching like an ogre. I'm trying to be a fairy, not an ogre. Literally, I hate doing eyeshadow because it just looks like I have black eyes. But let's just do my lashes. Alright. Let's put some mascara on. Mascara is probably the best part. And elongate your lashes by pulling them outwards as well. Okay. Looks better, yeah. I'm going to elongate my brows now. Also, I have a scar right here because I face planted in the 8th grade when I was skateboarding. <laughs> okay. I feel like 
Doing your bottom lashes really opens up your eyeballs. Almost done. This blush, Sailor Moon. And put it here. On the nose, of course. Then I'm going to use this flat brush thing. Take the sparkly eyeshadow and put it under my eye right here. You look great, darling. Then I put it in like the inner corner. I take another sparkly shade, just put it across my nose like this, and then I line it like this. I don't have a highlighter, but I always use sparkly eyeshadow, and I feel like it looks fine on the brow bone. I'm digging it. So I use this e.l.f. liner. It's the shade Coffee. A little wing, that's cute, yeah. Then I like to go under right here. Kind of opens the eye a little bit more. I got these ears from Amazon and they were like five dollars. The only thing is that I am not this color. So we're gonna put BB cream on it. Can you say? I feel like it's darker, but it's definitely not my kind of darker. Oh, I put some bronzer on it, so. It's getting there. Why can't they make ears like this for all skin tones, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, that actually worked really well. It's not completely my skin color, but it's definitely better. <laughs> I don't know why I feel pretty elfish. I will overline my lips and just color the whole thing in really. And then I want to like fill in the corner and... Cute, cute. I take this lip gloss. It's the shade Moody. Okay, I like it. I need more blush though. Oh my God, this is so fun. Look how cute I look. I just poke my eye. Oh, what, what was that? I couldn't hear you. <laughs> okay. I already feel pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty fairy-like. Pretty gorgeous. <laughs> okay. Transition. Wow! Let me fix the camera. This is my dress. I got it from the thrift store. It's actually a skirt. And I got this corset from Amazon. These are the wings that I made. Please, please look at them up close. Look at all of my hard work. All right, so these are the materials. And the first thing you're going to do is draw out your fairy wing design onto your cardboard box. And I couldn't find one that I liked, so I made one up. But feel free to screenshot this so you can get the materials and my design if you want. But keep in mind that the more intricate your design is, the more tedious it will be to make it. Here I am starting to do the wire thing. It's pretty... Uh, annoying <laughs> doing this for a long time but you you get used to it it took me like a, like a couple hours to do both wings this is when the pliers and the wire cutting tools will come in very handy so yeah you're going to tape the metal together with foil tape but don't use the same one i use because i have like writing on it and i had to like wash it out then, once you finish your wings, you're going to take your cellophane. I use an iridescent one, and you want to tape it just so it stays. And this is the spray adhesive that I got. I don't recommend this one. This was just my last choice. I recommend the Gorilla Glue one, but this worked out well, I guess. Um, you're just going to put it like a lot on <laughs> and make sure it's even so that it doesn't look weird. And please do this outside because it smells atrocious. And then you're going to press it down and let it dry a little. Then you're going to take the second layer and you want to smooth out all the wrinkles. Uh, you see me using my knuckles, it uh, does help. And you're going to take an iron. I didn't have an iron, but we did have like this Cricut press thingy, which still worked out. And you're just going to do this um, forever, really. Just until the cellophane kind of melts together with the glue. And then you're going to cut it out. Don't cut out too much just yet, just because cutting less is better. Then you're going to leave about an inch away from your outline, which is important for the next step, but my edges kept lifting, and so I kind of got creative and used a flat iron. If you do this, 
uh, be very quick and careful or else you will ruin it. And then you can set your wings on fire, but because you are melting plastic, please do this outside and be careful. But this step is really crucial because I questioned my wings before this. <laughs> and so this is what it looks like afterwards. So the way the wings will stay on is through sticking it to the back of your shirt so there's no straps. So you want to bend the bottom of the wires into like a squared U shape. I even added a towel so that I can stick them and it'll be sticking out instead of just flat and make it really secure, add more extra wires, extra tape, but yes. Stay on the things that they're pretty crunchy. This is crazy. It actually came together. Oh my goodness. I swear. Oh, I have my rings on, whatever. I swear, if a mosquito bites me, I'm gonna bite them back. I wish I could stay in this costume all day, every day. <laughs> 